nigga got money now, you done switched up on me. Now you won't say what's up to me. Okay, so now you won't make love to me. Girl, if you don't get the fuck from me. I know you thought we had something special, but you don't mean none to me. Girl, I'm sorry you not the one for me. Just be honest, girl, what you want from me? This ain't nothing new, keep it so one, honey. I can't let none of these niggas get one up on me. I go back, I tell you, you better run. Alrighty, folks, you know what time it is. Yeah, so I copped uh, Jordan 1 last weekend. It is officially called the Air Jordan 1 High OGCOJP. I think JP stands for Japan. I uh, got it in a size 12. Retailed for $170. Ultimately, if you if you know, if you've had a you know Jordan 1 sneaker, you know what it is. Um, laces are not tied up because uh, they're trying to save money. You know that fun fact? Way back in the 80s, they didn't lace up the shoes. That they're gonna, you know, uh, make you lace up the shoes now just to like give this uh, retro or nostalgia appeal. But the truth is, they actually save money. They save like a cent or something um, by not tying up the, la the shoes with the laces. So, um, just a fun fact there. I'm gonna try to look inside the, the shoe. You'll see co.jp. I'm not gonna be like typical sneaker heads and try to be a you know leather connoisseur because I, I don't know necessarily what, what good leather is. I know what feels soft, um, but that doesn't mean it's good leather. But what I can say is it looks like you know, a quality, luxury looking sneaker. Honestly, there are so many, you know, blue colorways for Jordan 1s that I'm just not a fan of. Like, I don't like sport blue, I don't like royal blue. I know a lot of folks like those, mainly because they're OG colors, but I think these are actually retros of, uh, of an OG sneaker. There was like a Japan pair, that, yeah, there was a pair that came out in, I think, 2001, and, um, yeah, so those are actually not that available. Like, they're pretty limited in quantity. Um, but, um, yeah, this is just like your ordinary Jordan 1 sneaker. I don't really care if there's reselling it. I would probably assume there's maybe a little bit. Um, if you're interested in getting, like, a sneaker that retails or is that resell for, like, 250 or 260 or something. If you like Jordan 1s, I say collect them. Collect them all, collect the ones, you know, the colorways that, that catch your eye, and this is definitely one of them. I'm impressed with the craftsmanship. Uh, it is pretty solid sneaker. I don't have any complaints. I um, haven't tried these on, but again, standard Jordan 1 sneaker. Like, they, they all pretty much feel the same. Of course, with most Jordan 1s, I'd say comfort-wise, it's like a 7 out of 10. It's not the most comfortable, but it's also not the least comfortable. Definitely better than some other Jordans. Um... If I were to talk about like versatility, Jordan 1's I'd say easily like a 9 if not a 10. And of course, durability, um, I haven't thrown away a single Jordan 1. No one disses a Jordan 1 high. Notice how I said Jordan 1 high. I didn't say Jordan 1 mid, I didn't say Jordan 1 low. No one's going to diss a Jordan 1 high. Even if you got a not so great colorway, understand that a Jordan 1 is a Jordan 1 and that is probably one of the most timeless. Uh, and the most classic sneakers of all time, really. So, with that, um, let me know uh, how you feel about these, and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, make sure to comment, like, subscribe. 